Brent Whiting, are you on the phone? I don't think he is. He said back that that pen wasn't working. Okay, he, so the pen wouldn't work for him, so he can't get on. Would you want to lead us in the prayer? Dave? Okay. All right, Dave Moon's going to lead us in an evening prayer. Lord, we come before you this evening to ask your blessing on this meeting so that we can get the city business done, um, keep everybody healthy from the uh, pandemic, and uh, look after all of our council members who are meeting remotely. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Everybody ready for roll call? Roll call starting. Who's talking? Steve Anderson? Steve Anderson? Not there. Tom Gustin? Are they not hearing me? They're not hearing me. Are you muted? I don't know. Do you got me muted? Well, you were oh. muted when we started because it said. There you go. You're ready for roll call? Roll call. Yes. Steve Anderson. Steve Anderson. Here. Tom Gustin. Tom Gustin. Here. Kathleen Plotho. Kathleen Plotho. Here. Mark Ramsey. Mark Ramsey. Here. Patricia Russell. Patricia Russell. Here. Peter Sahadashini. I am here. Betsy Wolf. Betsy Wolf. Tom, we're ready, Tom to, we're ready for the reading and correcting of the journal. I move we suspend the rules and be sent with the reading of the minutes, please. Second. Who said that? Who said that? Thank you. Thank you. Anderson? Anderson? Yes. Gustin? Yes. Poto? Yes. Ramsey? Ramsey. Here. Russell? Russell. Yes. Sahadashini? Sahadashini. Yes. Yes. You, Tom. You, Tom. Okay. Tom, next up Tom, is communication. Ready? I'm going to turn this up. New business? New business? Okay, we're going to hear the report of the Peru Economic Development Commission concerning the proposed financing of economic development facilities for the YMCA. That would be Sandy Chittam. Okay, can everyone? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Good evening, everyone. This is Sandy Kittum, Secretary of the Peru Economic Development Commission. At 5.30 today, May 4th, 2020, the Peru EDC held an electronic meeting and public hearing to discuss the proposed TIF bond to support the new YMCA project 
and an extension of the walking trail to the former CSXX property. Notice of the meeting and public hearing was advertised in accordance with the state statute. After discussion of the project and hearing any questions or concerns from the public, I'm pleased to report that the Peru EDC recommends the City Council favorably consider and later approve ordinance number 12 authorizing the use of the SIP funds pledged by the City Redevelopment Commission to support projects for the benefit of the residents of the City of Peru. Our findings and justifications are included in our resolution 5-4-20 and my report which will be sent to the Mayor and First Treasurer as soon as possible for, uh, for filing. Thank you. What are you doing? This is this is not this is just her report. The ordinance twelve ordinance twelve will be up next. Okay. Finished. We're ready to move on ready to the next business of 2020. We have a move, move, movement to consider. We've Let's, got a second for that for you to vote. Let me read it in. Let me read it in first, Tom. Um, the ordinance of the, the, ordinance Common, of the Common Council of the City of Peru, 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 Indiana, Indiana authorizing, authorizing the issuance of the City of Peru, Indiana Tax Economic, Economic Development, 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 Development Revenue Bond of 2020, 2020 YMCA, YMCA project, and the use of the proceeds the thereof, thereof to support the YMCA, support the YMCA project, project and authorizing and authorizing other actions other and restaurants in respect thereto. Respect thereto. No, it's up for consideration. No, it's up for consideration. I move we table for 30 days. I know, Jim, I see your face. Um, do I, can I, I move to table. There's a second. Are we supposed to consider it first? I beg your pardon? Aren't we supposed to consider it first? Not if she wants to table it. Not, not if she wants to table it, no. Yeah, I move to table consideration for 30 days. Is there a second? Kathleen, did you say for 30 days? But I thought we were supposed to consider it first. Pat, if she tables it, that will move the consideration till next month. It's going to give an additional 30 days, is what she's asking. Second. Am I allowed to discuss at all? The reasoning? Am I allowed to not for tabling it? No, but the consideration is to be able to bring it up so we can talk. We table it and there's no discussion. Uh, okay. Here's your correction. Okay, on the motion okay, on the table. motion. Here's your correct tonight. Can we consider it first then? Can we make a motion to consider? You've already You've made already a motion made to table. You second. We'll table a vote. If it's voted down, then we'll go into consideration. consideration. All right, well, okay, got it. Okay. On the motion to table, motion to table Anderson. Anderson. No. Gustin. Gustin. Yes. Clotho. Clotho. Yes. Ramsey. Ramsey. No. Russell. Russell. Um. If we if I if we. Go, if I, we vote yes and table it. That means we can never talk about it. No, it'll be brought no, up it'll again be brought next, up month. next month. Gives you an additional thirty days. All right. Yes. Pete. Pete. Hi, Dashini. Hi, Dashini. Oh, you call me. You call me. You call me. 
What is your vote? What is your vote? Can anybody hear him? Anybody hear him? He, yeah, or nay? He voted no. Did he vote no? Vote no. Okay. And Betsy? Betsy. No. We have three yeas. Three yeas. Four nays. Four nays. Now, do you want to vote now, to consider? Vote to consider. A motion to consider. I need the motion to consider. Second. Who made the first yes. motion? You bet to. Okay. Okay. Who made okay. the first motion? The first motion. Um, Tom, Tom. 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 When you make a motion, you make please a motion. state your name. State your name. It'll make it easier. It'll make it easier. Who seconded it? Seconded it. Steve. Anderson. Okay. Anderson. Okay. All right. All right. Roll. Roll. Anderson. Anderson. Yes. Justin. Justin. Yes. Clotho. Clotho. Yes. Ramsey. Ramsey. Yes. Russell. Russell. Yes. Sahadachini. Sahadachini. Yes. And Betsy. And Betsy. Yes. Motion passed. Motion consider. Motion consider. May I? May I speak, Ms. Kathleen? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So, Jim. And the rest of the council, I've already talked with Steve and Tom and Patsy, uh, Pat. My concern, one of the reasons why I would like to see the walkway and the driveway split is because when Miles, Susan, and I met last fall in the wide board right after we were elected, they were not not what us asking questions about finances. In fact, they, had, they said that they had raised $10.5 million and included the one point five for the city in that. And um, I, knowing nonprofits, would like to take a look and ask more questions and get some real answers. I've gotten some questions and a lot of residents to be from some constituents, for city residents, who are questioning the validity of some of the money's raised and their finances. And so that's, um, I need to do some due diligence and sit with Mark and the board and whoever else would like to do that and come up with some some clarity and some better answers. Uh, for me, personally, I want the wife. I think we need a new wife. The walkway part is my favorite area of the room. But there are just too many questions that I want to answer. And the people who really deserve that, in my opinion. Can I... Uh, Mr. Chairman, can I kind of clarify maybe a little bit yeah okay, okay. <laughs> first of all uh, kathleen like we, and I'm, I'm sorry somebody's getting a lot of feedback back yeah. through their hey, can you uh, say through it? either their cell phone or their uh, computer mic if you have both of them if you have a computer mic on and a cell phone you're provide you're oh. doing feedback back on the system so if you could mute uh, then that would be great. Um, but anyway, back to your question, Kathleen. As I explained uh, before, and Rich and Dustin jump in here, is that um, the reason that we're doing this under the same project and the same ordinance is to basically reduce the amount of money that we have to spend. We're probably talking about $300,000 or more every time we do a bond issuance if we're talking about attorney's fees, CPA's fees, debt and reserve, all those kind of things. Let me assure you that, again, going back, 
the two projects are separate. Right. So we can go on with the trail project and wait until uh, we don't even have to draw the money out of the bank and put it with the trustee until we are actually sure that there is a project moving forward for the YMCA. Or even if we do draw it out and give it to the trustee, if there is no project that happens, that money just goes back in against the, the bond and it's there's no obligation to repay it back. So it's just like the money was never used. So again, I would highly recommend it. No, Go I ahead. know. Jim, I understand that completely. I just have uh, an obligation. You know, the, the legislative branch of a city or any place is the checks and balances. And I campaigned on a promise of accountability, transparency, you know, and fighting for the small business person. But uh, I think that we need, I've talked with several members, and uh, I, I would like more information from the park and check the board. And that's one reason why I wanted to table, but that was, that was the wrong move. We do need to talk about it. We do need to consider. Steve, you were right. Steve Anderson, you were right. Um, but I'm really hesitant. I hope within the next 30 days, I can get with, and we can get with the board. And get those questions answered. Well, let me let me also say tonight, all you're doing is considering right. this resolution. You are not adopting this oh, resolution oh. will not come back uh, for the city council's review until or for your actual uh, adoption or approval until the June meeting, which right. gives you the thirty days to kind of right. go through. That's so right. if I'm yeah. talking about it tabling it for another 30 days, then we have to start the process in June to consider, and then you wouldn't be adopting it until right. July. Right. Okay, that's so that will, if you can, if, if you would help me, or correct or somebody help me, I'll make contact with Mark and whatever council members from now and then want to get together and get a list of questions. I would appreciate it because um, I'm all for the body. Um, it's just, I, I, I would just like some clarification. I, I mean, we'd be happy to help whatever way we can. Um, again, I think the, the biggest thing to understand is, Kathleen, is that if there is no YMCA project, if for some reason they can't get all of their financing satisfactory to do the project, then we won't be spending the bond to the foundation. So it's kind of like almost having, I don't want to say a line of credit with the bank, but you've got this money in the bond ready to support the project if you have a project. So we're not going to release any of that money to Y until they have satisfied everybody that they have funds that they have a project, that they have released the bid, they've signed the contracts. So there's a lot of check and balances to go between now and then. And, and Rich, uh, correct me if I've said anything wrong or Dustin, uh, because I sure don't want to leave the, the council um, that on um, something that I'm not, I'm not sure of, so. No, I think, I think you, you have my right. Yeah, I mean, so this is just the first reading, and uh, mm -hmm. you can come back in June for the possible adoption. And if you didn't have answers by then, you could put it off then as well. I was just wondering if there will be any kind of representative from the Y that I'm okay. I mean, you, we can have a representative of the Y, but again, uh, you have the Y project, which we're pledging these revenues for. Um, yeah, I. If the council would like to have a Y representative there, I can ask Mark Demchek to attend. But again, if 
even if Mark comes and satisfies you, but if something happens that the project doesn't go through down the road, we're still not obligating that money. It's sitting in an account waiting for there to be a project. If there, for whatever reason, there is no project, then we don't have to use those funds. We can pay back the bond, reduce the principal amount, and only have to satisfy the trail project. Okay, so here's what I, yeah, this is one thing to that you know, I want to know that there's that that um, everything's okay because I want to fight for the line. I want to help them if they don't have the funds to help raise the funds. You know, but I got to feel good about it. I, I need to when somebody comes and asks, I need to say, yeah, they're you know, let's do this. You know, if somebody from Peru um, has, is hesitant, I want to be able to say, oh, they're solid. Let's do this. Well, that's part of. You know, I know I'm frustrated with you, and I'm still learning. I'm every day. Please be patient with me, because this is all I'm still with you. I, I, I am, and I will, and I'll offer any assistance I can to get as many council members in front of Mark Demchek as possible. And like Rich said, you know, I would encourage you to go ahead and approve the consideration uh, today, or leave that. Uh, where it's at because again at the June meeting you're going to come back and adopt so if there's something that hasn't been satisfied between now and the June meeting you can always take adoption perfect thank you okay so you're going to try uh, this is Pat are you going to try and get him to come before the council with um, information about his plans well I would uh, I mean, I would recommend uh, uh, either a group going to him. I, I don't know because given the situation that we're in right now, you're talking about him appearing before you in this uh, format, in this venue. Um, I would suggest that concerned council members, you know, maybe, uh, I mean, you can meet if you're less than 25 people now. Uh, given the governor's order, concerned council members that uh, would like to, I would let, let us arrange a meeting one on one with Mark, and then he can he can talk to the entire council. Yeah, just I, I agree with that. Yeah. We, we have uh, issues with the public meeting. There's only three of us. Yeah, yeah. Three but, it, but I don't know based on the. Based on the vote, I'm suggesting there may only be three of you that have that voted for the tabling, but maybe only three of you are concerned with the project. So, therefore, meeting with Mark wouldn't violate open door because it would take four of you. That's what we'll do. We'll set it up in, in two, separate, uh, two separate meetings. That's that's an easy question. Yeah, thank you. That satisfies me. Yeah. That frustrate yet the heck out of you, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, even though I voted after twenty after twenty five years in this business, now that's a, that's a piece of cake, Kathleen. So. Don't worry I'll try to come up with something bigger next time. Jim, even though I voted to consider this, this is Steve, by the way, I would definitely like to have more knowledge on how this project's going to work coming into this council. I don't really know a whole lot about how it's going. I mean, I'm obviously very much for this, but I would like to have a little better understanding of how this is going to happen in time frames and, you know, what, what's going to happen with it. So I'm interested as well, even though I didn't, you know, vote to table it, I still would like to have some more knowledge on it. Yeah, sure. And if it takes a couple of meetings with three at a time or, you know, whatever we have to do, uh, you know, let me make that recommendation to Mark. Uh, I would, if it's okay with the council, you know, I'll sit in on those meetings and explain how this bond, you know, again, how that will work, you know, based on the bids that the Y receives and how the disbursement of funds will happen. So... Mark and I can meet with members of the council together and 
that way you get an update from the Y on where they're at. Perfect. Thank you. And their plans may be changing as well with COVID. I mean, they may have to build something completely different or, you know, raise a different amount of money to make it a health uh, workout facility that would be okay with all of this. Yeah. And, and again, please don't take please don't take what I'm saying because it needs to come from the Y. But as I understand, about a week or more ago, they went out for bids on the project, and I think the bids are due back towards the end of this month. So if you're going out for bids, to me, you're pretty sure you've got a project. You're just kind of validating what the actual costs are going to be through the bid process, but. Again, that needs to come from Mark Dimchek and not me. So uh, if you will, uh, I'll talk with Mark, uh, get some dates that he's available, dates and times. I'll submit those through Tom. I think Tom still. Thank you. Thank you for us. Yeah, it's show time is leaving, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Tim. No problem. So with that, uh, Susan, I would suggest that whoever the vice chair is of the uh, of the council that you Anderson. probably do uh, for an adjournment if there's no other business. Other business. We, have, yes. we have other business we have other to other do. Business. We have other business right now moving forward. Request information for the public regarding application for USDA grant to purchase police vehicles. Matt, are you available? I, I'm sorry, but before you before you leave this, I didn't hear a vote on the introduction of the ordinance. We did that. We did, did that. that. Yeah, a vote to consider I'm that. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, they voted to consider at the beginning. Well, I, I know they voted to consider it, but did they vote to to accept the ordinance on the first reading? No. No. Right. So it was no. voted on to consider. That's the only vote it gets. That's the only vote it gets is a vote to Thank consider. It. I'm thinking here. Um, Move to uh, accept, accept tonight, adopt later. Yes. Because it'll adopt at the next public meeting. Consider, and we've always uh, moved to consider, move to approve, more or less the same, how we've treated that. Second. Second. This is Tom, I call it just the phone. I second. Hold on, Kathleen. Nobody made a motion. Nobody made a motion. Dustin can't motion. Can't motion. Oh, okay. I moved to adopt on first reading. No, accept. Yes, not adopt. Accept. I beg your pardon. I moved to accept on the first reading. Second. Okay, Kathleen, who's second? Second. Pat. 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 Okay. okay. Steve? Steve? Yes. Tom? Tom? Yes. Kathleen? Kathleen? Yes. Ramsey? Ramsey. Mark? Mark? Do we lose Mark? Do we lose Mark? Yeah, that's Mark. Are you in? Are you now? Mark, yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Ramsey. Ramsey. I mean, yes. Russell. Yes. Russell. Yes. Pete Sahadashi. Pete Sahadashi. Uh, yes. And Betsy? Betsy? Yes. Okay. Okay. Next order up. Next order up. Okay, now the next yeah. order of business is a grant okay. for new oh. police cars. Matt, go ahead. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, thanks for adding us to the agenda. 
So I, I know I spoke earlier this week with uh, Councilwoman Wolf. Um, this is really just more a formality than anything, but it's an opportunity uh, in a public setting to allow the public to ask questions or provide input. Um, we used a grant last year uh, through the United States Department of Agriculture uh, Rural Development in order to purchase several police vehicles. Uh, really what we're doing now is uh, trying to get two more vehicles uh, through this matching fund project through the USDA. Uh, it's due next month, so we've kind of arrived at the end of, of the line of this, this grant. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, for lack of a better term, free money from the federal government to help us operate. So uh, I think that it's a good thing. I think the taxpayers should be uh, happy that we're, we're utilizing other avenues to provide us with uh, some relief for the local taxpayers to help us uh, with our functions and, and purchasing these vehicles. Is there any information that you'd like to give us on other than that? Um, well, we're, our plan is, so as I mentioned, it's a matching grant. Um, it, it funds us for 55% of our project. So we are currently budgeted through the lowest funds for roughly about $46,000. With this, that would purchase one vehicle. Uh, the total price tag is $95,606 for the total project. Even though we're budgeted for $46,000, this would uh, only be $43,000 coming out of our budget. So it's a savings of about $3,000. If we are successful in getting it, the federal government will pay $52,583. Uh, Very nice. It would, it would be to purchase two two vehicles, two uh, Ford Explorers. Um, they will come fully equipped. So that's not just the price of the vehicle, that's the price of all the equipment that goes into one of our vehicles. I would, mention, I would mention that we um, we have a number of vehicles that are older, in excess of 10 years old. Um, two of them, or I'm sorry, one of them right now is sitting at the garage to be fixed. It's not operational. It's a 2007 Crown Victoria that happened to be my car in 2007. Um, it is currently worth $500 with a price tag of between $3,000 and $5,000 to fix it. So these vehicles, if we're successful in getting them, would go to replace that vehicle. And we have probably at least one more sitting in our lot right now that has a value of about $500. So we, we have an aging fleet that we're trying to get new, new equipment for our guys. Um, and this is, I, I think, a pretty responsible way to try to do that. Good work, job, man. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions? Nope. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. We take a Thank you. Vote on that everything you guys Thank you, Matt. Okay, now I have one, one more order of business. We have to uh, do something with this. It's. No, it's just information. Okay. This is also information. This is from the fire department dated April 26th. Honorable council members. The Free Fire Department is applying for a USDA grant for portable radios and gear rack. At this time, we're working with 16 old radios. The project is partially funded by a fire department fund and is in our 2020 budget to purchase radios. With this grant, we will be able to purchase 31 radios so that each fire 
firefighter will have their own portable radios. They are a lifeline for our safety and very important part of our gear. I'm asking the council to approve the mayor's signature for approval, subject to attorney's approval. With this approval, we'd move forward with the grant and have it submitted by June 1st. Thank you for Thank your you. consideration. consideration. Respectfully, Chief Hawk. Chief Hawk? Chief Hawk? Chief Hawk? Oh, yes, I'm here. This is Chief Hawk, Susan. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I'm just asking uh, for the council to uh, just approve this. We're looking at purchasing the uh, radios. Uh, we already have it in our budget. Uh, but with this grant, it will really help with our budget since we have our own, basically, uh, equipment fund. And we can then use that other money to purchase fire trucks. So at this time, we're just asking that the council approve this with the, uh, uh, basically approve the mayor's signature, saying that we can go ahead with this grant for USDA and do by, do by June the 1st. Is this similar to what Matt was talking about, to matching grant? On the agriculture okay. side. Eric. 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 Yeah. This is this is this the is, same grant the same that grant the police that are complying for, correct? correct? That's correct. That's correct. It's the same USDA grant. Okay. Uh, basically, it's going to be for uh, right. We're approved for fifty-five percent of the funding. And so it's going to be roughly about a $38,000 grant. Okay. We have to take any action on that? Again, that's just for Again, information. That's information. information for all of the council. Uh, right now, Tom, are you still here? Yes. We're up for adjournment. Unless anybody has anything else. Yeah. Is there anything from uh, Jim? Jim has something. Jim? Jim? Yeah, I just wanted while I had the council on to give an update on our uh, small business development grant uh, that we received from Oprah. Uh, as of today, I think we have over 70 applications uh, so far. Uh, the deadline uh, for submission of that is coming up at 4 o'clock on uh, May the 6th. So that's for our first round. Um, I'm not sure there'll be a second round. Uh, the amount of demand or what people have asked for clearly exceeds uh, the amount that we receive from Oprah. Uh, but our, we are going to try to do um, as uh, best we can in, uh, in giving people at least something to help with this COVID uh, crisis. So anyway, uh, more to come, but just wanted to give you an, an update of where we're at in that process. So, hey, Jim, I, Jim I just want to thank you for that work, and uh, that's just exceptional. You got everything you asked for, and we still need it. So thank you. Yes, thank you, Jim. Not a problem. And again, it's uh, we're all in this together, and so we'll... Um, out of it together so anyway i want to i want to thank every member of the city council for the job they've been doing under these trying trying times uh i can't wait until we can get back one-on-one -on -one up here and talking and everything but i do want to uh thank everyone for joining us here tonight also with that being said uh dustin do you have anything that you need to say Anybody else have anything they'd like to say? This is Tom. Is Jim still on? Uh, yes, sir. I have to be on, or otherwise you wouldn't be able to. He can pull the plug. Would you please let Kathleen know when you're meeting because she's going to be our representative? Yes, thank you. Yes. No, no, no. Okay. All right, Tom, we're up to adjournment.
Steve? Steve? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Everybody Meeting have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you.